Well, let me show you some of the features. This is the best platform to take you from beginner to expert trader. And whether you're just starting out or leveling up, our platform provides the resources from simple to use signals to in-depth market analysis tools that you need to save time and succeed. And if you're just getting started, here's the three simple steps that you need to do. Number one, go to the watch list. Number two, check out the stock and ETF details. And number three, add your favorites and start getting buy or sell notifications right on your screen. So now you're ready to supercharge your trading. Let me show you all the powerful features to guard your downside and to grow aggressively. Let's start with the buy and sell signals. Outliers buy and sell signals adapt to changing market conditions. During extended trends, a signal may remain active for prolonged periods. Whereas in highly volatile or choppy markets, a signal may only remain active for a few days or even weeks. These unique signals consider proprietary investor behavioral data, the first of their kind to bridge the gap between what investors think and how they act on the market. The most recent buy signals are in the bull and bear lists, and it's the only scanner for active traders capable of leveraging the behavioral data. You can further refine scanner results with market cap, sector, and industry filters. Next is our proprietary price trajectory oscillator. Our trajectory oscillator predicts where stock or ETF price trends are headed for in the nearer to intermediate future. Our heat map, investor fear and greed data, and proprietary directional volatility are used as key inputs for this predictive model, making it a unique and powerful investment tool. In the stock market, as you know, the trend is your friend until it isn't. Because our system is based on dynamic investor behaviors instead of static indicators, Outlier is more adaptive to changing conditions than competing signal services. That means it can act aggressively in trending conditions and defensively in ranging or volatile times. So how do you use it? First, you identify trends in investor fear and greed based upon its up or down direction. Next, use it in tandem with the heat map data in order to identify more opportunities. And lastly, use it as an overlay on the daily candlestick charts for ease of reference. So next is the heat map chart. And the proprietary heat map chart for stocks and ETFs represents pockets of irrational investor fear and greed represented by the colors red and green respectively on a daily basis. Now, the way you get to that is you come up to this button right here and that switches from the candlestick view to the heat map view. So how do you use it? It shows buying opportunities that frequently occur in the red zones, selling opportunities that frequently occur in the green zones, and the darker the color gradient, the stronger the buy or sell opportunity. The heat map is overlaid on a daily close price for quick reference. Next, let's take a look at the down cycle and recovery indicators. These indicators provide a warning to major market drawdowns followed by a recovery period that can provide excellent opportunities to re-enter the market. These indicators are applied at the sector and the individual stocks that make up that sector. And sometimes avoiding major market corrections is all you need. So how do you use the down cycle indicator? An orange overlay is an early warning of impending drawdown. A red overlay is a severe warning of a very near-term drawdown. Avoid drawdowns by reducing risk during these periods. A green overlay is an indicator of an ensuing recovery, and a risk-on strategy is definitely more appropriate during these events. A sector or an index is made up of companies grouped together by similarities, and the constituent map provides a quick view of daily fear and greed scores arranged from least to greatest. So how do you use it? Because sectors are groups of similar companies, the constituent map tells the behind the scenes story of what's causing the sector to trend or reverse course. Much like watching the tide come in or go out over time, excessive fear or greed among companies accumulates, leading to near-term trend reversals. 